As a YouTuber, I've got an unfair advantage. I see numbers about meme coin that you cannot see. I can look at the analytics in the back end of my channel and see how much interest is there currently on a coin. And based on that interest, we can maybe make an indication how strongly people feel about a cryptocurrency. Have a look at the two prior videos on meme. A lot of the recent traffic is search traffic, so people are actively searching for meme coin. And what we see in blue over here are the number of views over time. So this is now 11 days and 11 hours since publishing of that video. What we see here in gray, this area here below in gray, that's a typical video. So there's roughly four times more interest on meme coin for this specific video compared to other videos on this channel. And of course, that's the reason why I make now my third video. Let's look at the second video. Here are the analytics of the second video published two days ago. And again, more than double, maybe triple of the typical views that we usually see, again, mainly driven by search interests. So that's information you cannot see, right? When there's a price rally, and I make a video about that price rally, and there's a lot of searches around this, maybe the rally can continue. But when there's a price rally and nobody is interested in this, then maybe it was just a few whales that were buying in. Maybe it was some kind of manipulation and retail isn't really jumping on this, indicating that the price could go down. Now, I haven't done a back test on this. I didn't quantify this whatsoever, but it seems to be holding somewhat because we don't only see this for meme coin. We also see this, for example, for Casper. I'll also make a video on Casper directly after this. So what were those two videos about? One of them was about the fundamentals, who issued the coin, who holds the coin, etc. The other video was about derivatives, as in Binance is pushing this coin a lot, almost 2 billion of trading volume in the last 24 hours, two days ago. Now that number went slightly down recently. It's still high though, 1 billion in the last 24 hours. And that's especially impressive given that the market cap is only at 263 million. So almost four times of the market cap was traded in the last 24 hours. Every coin on average moved four times in the last 24 hours. Now, given that we've already talked about fundamentals, if you can call them that for a meme coin, and given that we've already talked about the derivatives market, let's look at on-chain data, specifically for the coin, but also for the NFTs. Have a look at the address here above. This is Dune Analytics, and on Dune Analytics, we very often can see interesting on-chain data. What's actually happening on the blockchain? Where's activity? going. And let's look at a few of those charts for meme coin. Here's the number of new wallets, cumulative in orange and in blue, the change per day. So it currently hovers pretty constantly on chain at around 400 wallets per day. Here we've got the amount of dollars that had been moving. Also relatively flat, an initial spike with the airdrop, of course, but since then neither crashing nor growing massively. Here's the same number in meme tokens, not in dollars. And here we see the in and out flows to different centralized exchanges. The main inflows being into Binance here at the airdrop. If we remove that, we see some outflows from KuCoin that went in here at the beginning. Not a very clear trend here either. And this is the centralized exchange balance over time. So the centralized exchanges hold a lot of the token, Binance being the leader. And given that there's trading volume of 1 billion in the last 24 hours, Binance obviously also has a strong interest on keeping the price somewhat elevated, at least keeping it very volatile so that new trading fees can occur. Trading fees translate directly into revenue for any centralized exchange. I find these numbers super fascinating. When on chain, we can only see 400 new wallets every day, but at the same time, we see a billion dollars worth of trading volume on a centralized exchange. Something doesn't necessarily add up here or people are really hyper focused on centralized exchanges. The Delta is really massive here. Let's have a quick look at the three NFT collections. The first one being the captains, of course, issued by 9gag. That's the issuer of the meme coin. Here are the NFTs on OpenSea and here are the statistics. Here's the trading volume of the collection, relatively constant, recently even seen a spike. Unfortunately, the number of holders is not increasing. It's decreasing quite constantly from 6,000 at the beginning of the year to currently 4,000. 
Next collection, the potatoes, similar kind of trading volume, also relatively elevated recently. Also with the number of holders rather declining, maybe somewhat leveling off recently. We also see the floor price for the NFT for the potatoes collection. That's rather healthy. I don't know why Dune did not execute this for the captain's collection. Next, we've got you, the real MVP here with rising trading volume here with a holder pattern that's pretty stable, not declining. And here with an ETH floor that tends to grow quite a bit. So among those three NFT collections, simply just looking at the numbers, even though it's the most expensive, it seems to be the most stable of the bunch. The U Real MVP collection. If this video gets the same attention as the others, I'll make another update on meme. So feel free to subscribe and of course, give this a like to spread the word. There's also a telegram link is down below.